Cling, cling, cling. Learning French with Alex. <rire> Une tartine de ouf. Une tartine de ouf. Now you say it. Mm. Say again. Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. So today we are making a very simple yet absolutely delicious French inspired tartine. This episode is part of a series about tartines, as known as French-inspired open-faced sandwiches. Those modern recipes are tasty, easy, healthy, and they will let you experience the taste of France wherever you are on the planet on a tight budget. So first off, let's make the toppings. Lamb's lettuce, eggs, pickled radish, and a light aioli. What is aioli? Uh, aioli is some kind of a mayonnaise sauce Uh, but you know more on the garlicky and, and olive oil side. However, in this tartine series, things should be... That's why I choose to make a lighter version. So I'm going with half mayonnaise sauce and half cottage cheese. Add a garlic clove grated. Mix everything together nicely. Now eggs, they are delicious on their own, of course, and you get so many uh, cooking possibilities. And also they are... So to get hard boiled eggs, but you know, with the egg yolk still uh, soft and wet, uh, maybe not wet, uh, but moist, cook them in boiling water. Nine minutes tops. Stop the cooking process by placing them in very cold water. Pickled radishes, very important, because eggs, mayonnaise, sauce, garlic, we want to cut through all that richness with something tangy. Making instant pickle is one of my all-time favorite. Place salt, sugar, and vinegar in equal proportions in a bowl, add some boiling water, and then you can pickle almost anything. Instead of a, you know, crisp, raw crunch, you get some light, juicy crunch. I'm not sure that makes sense, But you gotta try it by yourself. Bread, surely the most important part of a tartine. So recently on Instagram, I'm not sure you follow my Instagram, but if not, then you should, or at least my Facebook or my Twitter. I posted a picture of a sandwich, a beautiful sandwich with an amazing uh, stuffing or toppings or uh, what do you say, like sandwich toppings or sandwich stuffings? I would say stuffing because it's inside but it sounds wrong. Let me know in the comments. Ah, you know, it's a bit like sushi in a way. Uh, people always think the most important part is the fish, but if you ask Japanese, they might uh, say that it's the rice. Make a thick slice out of sourdough bread or any rustic bread. Toast it for a few minutes each side. So I guess if you're following the tartine series, then you already know that toasting a, a tartine or a slice of bread is very important to make uh, an abrasive surface, which we will use to rub, for example, chili. The chili flesh will dodge itself everywhere in those cracks and crannies. So now it's time to build up this mighty but simple tartine. Now smear a good spread of our uh, lighter aioli sauce. And then you want to add the lamb's lettuce, the egg yolk and the egg white and the pickled radishes. Add some chive to bring a fresh but garlicky flavor. Finally, sprinkle everything with nori seaweed. So I'm pretty sure you already know that, but nori seaweed is this. I mean, it's not the package itself. Don't be silly. Oh, this one is a bit yellow. However, usually it's the black thing in which they wrap the makizushi. Ah, this is an old one. Oh ah, my god, stinks. Uh, so at this point, my tartine presentation completely sucks. Things must be appetizing, otherwise, even if your dish is amazing, even if it's delicious, nobody's gonna taste it. I think you should do something else. Let's remix the presentation. So you've got crispiness from the bread, crunch and juices and tanginess 
from pickled radishes, richness from aioli sauce and eggs, freshness from lamb's lettuce and chive. Then you've got long lasting flavors of garlic and of nori seaweed. And then finally, you've got some heat from chili and freshly ground black pepper. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, give it a like, thumbs up and share that over your social media. <laughs> Spread it like butter. Of course, subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every week. And it's usually on Sunday and Wednesday about getting the posh out of French food, but out of cooking in general and also about sharing my food adventures with you guys. If you love... Uh, no, let's do it otherwise. <laughs> if you hate French food, if you despise the French people, if you dislike the French culture, then maybe you can watch my uh, special meat lover pizza. Sausage, meatballs and pepperoni pizza made for a friend in the US. Or if you like French food, then you can watch my crepe Suzette recipe, which is an iconic, like really, really, really iconic French dessert. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Salut.